brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to this daily podcast presented on the Smith Vigos What Devotional. My name is Victoria Eok and I'm blessed to be your host for this podcast. So without further delay, let us start with prayer. Father, our God, my taking of kings and other flowers, we thank you so much for this opportunity to study your word right now. We just pray that your Holy Spirit may lead us and teach us and instruct us in this moment. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. of the teaching is brokenness precedes blessing brokenness precedes blessing we will read as key verse for today Matthew chapter 16 verse 24 and then our other scripture reading for the day will be from Matthew chapter 10 from verse 16 up to verse 42 so let us start with Matthew chapter 16 verse 24 and we are reading from the New King James Version it goes thus then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Let me say it again. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Now we will read Matthew chapter 10 from verse 16 up to verse 42. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and scourge you in your synagogues. You will be brought before governors and kings for my sake, as it does demonize to them and to the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, do not worry about how or what you should speak, for it will be given to you in that hour what you should speak. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father who speaks in you. Now brother will deliver a brother to death, and a father his child, and children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but he who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in this city, flee to another. For assuredly I say to you, you will not have gone through the cities of Israel before the Son of Man comes. A disciple is not above his teacher, and a servant above his master. It is not for a disciple that he be like his teacher, and a servant like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more will they call those of his household? Therefore do not fear them, for there is nothing covered that will not be revealed, and hidden that will not be known. Whatever I tell you in the dark, speak in the light, and what you hear in the ear, preach on the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And not to spare a soul for a copper coin, and not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, for you are more valuable than many sparrows. Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I came to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace by this world. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against a mother, and a daughter-in-law against a mother-in-law. And the man's enemies will be those of his own household. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, and he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. He who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. He who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward, and he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives to one of these little ones only a cup of cold water in the name of a disciple, assuredly I say to you, he shall by no means lose his reward. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So the title of today's teaching, as previously stated, is Brokenness Precedes Blessing. Brokenness Precedes Blessing. So today we are talking about brokenness and blessing. I like the fact that Smith Wigglesworth says here that he's had those days when he was feeling burdened. You know, it can happen at times to feel heavy, burdened, and broken. It can happen. But something that I've learned, like, from my own experience is it's never good to remain in that state for a very, very long time. It's really like when you are in the state of, like, you're hurt, you're broken, you're 
you you like you completely burdened you are you are not in like in in a mindset of serving god you know like you are at that moment i would say perhaps self-centered perhaps like still focused on whatever happened to you which puts you in the state in which you are but to tell you the truth i like the fact that Smith figures what says that god god is the one who lifts up that heaviness god is the one who can lift up that heaviness and you know when you realize like your helplessness when you realize like your flaws when you realize for example when you've been attacked when you've been persecuted or when you're afraid when you're scared to step out for the gospel and stuff like that like this this is a moment of helplessness but the god whom we serve he he is able you know our helplessness can be touched by the power of the god that we serve our helplessness can definitely be touched by the power of the god whom we serve such that we can come out like for real we can come out as shining we can come out as shining as gold we find in the fire as revelation the three verse 18 says but this is like a process and i'm not saying that for some people it takes a few hours for some a few days but don't wait waste years of your life in brokenness like it's it it may be a journey for you or it may be something of a few hours or a few minutes but don't waste years of your life in brokenness because this could have been time that you could have spent preaching the gospel healing the sick raising the dead casting out devils doing the works of the kingdom so i would like to say like i like the fact that smith because what mentioned said that before pentecost could ever happen jesus had to be broken Think about it, Jesus was persecuted, Jesus was, Jesus was insulted, persecuted, criticized for being who he was, who he is, actually the son of God. He was criticized, he was persecuted for doing the right thing, for preaching the gospel, healing the sick, raising the dead, casting out devils. He was criticized, he was insulted, and it didn't end there. He, they crucified him, they actually crucified him. He received unfair judgment and the cross that he had to bear. But Jesus rose from the dead, and not only did he rise from the dead, he is he's alive right now in ours. He lives in us, he sent the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit lives in ours believers. So, like, I would just summarize by saying that bless, brokenness is not the end of your journey. I don't know what happens to you. I don't know what slowed you down. I don't know what delayed you in the purpose and plan of the Lord for you. But brokenness doesn't have to be the end of your journey. It should be the moment to turn to God and to help to turn to Him and ask Him to swallow up your weaknesses, to swallow up your helplessness, to make a way where there seems to be no way, to heal you, to bring you back up, you know. And in the end, when you put your trust in God and that you, you let him process that brokenness, it can be the start of something extremely beautiful. When it's like, for example, you were persecuted and you got scared. When God restores you, when God helps you just to step out again, you know, and that you have faith and you believe in him, like it is such a place, the same point that was a point of brokenness in your life can be a huge spot of blessing because you... You didn't remain in brokenness, but you decided to step out. So if you have to remain like just remember just one thing from this, I would say brokenness doesn't have to be the end. Whatever happened to you, it doesn't have to be the end of your journey in the Lord. Like get yourself off together, pick yourself off together and like tell God, God use me, God heal me, God fix me, help me and use me. So this is the quote for today's Miss Figures What's Good for the day. There is no hope for Pentecost unless we come to God in a brokenness. There is no hope for Pentecost unless we come to God in a brokenness. Let us pray. Father oh, God Almighty, today I thank you so much for addressing the issue of brokenness. I thank you for I myself when I was broken, when I was hurt, when I was discouraged. It took me time, but you came. You you, you are always here, and you, you in to that situation, you showed up in that situation because you're always there, you're always present, you're always for me. And I thank you because you've healed me and you've you've put me back together and you from where the, the area where there was so much brokenness, Lord, you've brought healing and you're bringing life and you're bringing blessing. So Lord, I pray for everybody right now on the sound of my voice who has been broken, who has been hurt, and who took a huge blow and a break like in your walk with God or in like in your mission for the Lord or in the purpose that you gave them, who got laid. Because of brokenness, in the name of Jesus, I break the yoke of the spirit of delay and I break the yoke of the spirit of 
of, of, of heaviness in the name of Jesus and I set them free right now in Jesus Christ's name and I say go forth and let your light shine for the glory of the Lord's name in Jesus Christ's name amen so thank you so much for listening from start to finish I believe you've been blessed and notified by listening to this and if it is so please make sure to listen to the next episode tomorrow by God's grace additionally if you've been blessed you can always testify you can come to me on social media and let me know like how it's going in your walk with God and if you have any specific prayer requests I'm always available on social media you can contact me and I will definitely pray for you no matter the issue whether it's finances whether it's health whether it is um casting out devils raising the dead healing the sick whatever has to do with the works of Jesus I'm willing and available and I'm the servant of the Lord so give me prayer